Hello, I will speak about camellia today. I'm staying in the Kyoto Botanical Garden. Today is December 20th, so it's right before the Christmas. And it's actually the second half of camellia flowering. This tree is already dropping petals, as you see. So that's still lots of flowers and even flower buds are present on the tree. So it will flower at least one month after today. So camellias are frequently called Chinese roses. But they are not roses. They are very not unrela very unrelated to the true roses. The only similarity between camellia and roses is a structure of flower, which is uh, typically called double flower. Flower with big number of petals. Some camellias have all stamens converted into petals. Some camellias have uh, just a single typical flower, like uh, with five petals. And some camellias, like this one, are in between. So some more petals present, but also stamens present here. So camellias, as I say, are not related to roses. Roses, in general, are neighbor to some interesting groups like uh, ficuses or nettles. So plants with small flowers and roses is an exception. Camellias in thorn are neighboring to some other groups like for example to kiwi so kiwi fruit is relative to camellia and to some woody and shrubby plants from a heather family like a blueberry so blueberry is also relative to camellia camellias are very big genus of plants uh, most important in three ways so of course camellias are important as flowers so these cultivated species of camellias are everywhere in Japan and in China. The cultivation of camellia started in the Far East like more than 1,500 years ago. And many different varieties and hybrids were developed. The second field, camellias are used for the oil. Seeds of camellias are big, rich of oil, and in the market you can find them under the name tea oils but this is not exactly the tea shrub is used however it also used and different species you cultivate it to make a tea oil oil from a camellia different species and the third application of course it's a tea drink some species of camellias are rich of caffeine and theobramine two alkaloids which are doing kind of refreshing of our nervous system many plant groups independently develop it the ability to synthesize caffeine and theobramine so and camellias have several species not this one by the way this one is have no caffeine in, in seeds or leaves but many other species of camellias have caffeine rich leaves stems and even roots and they are cultivated under the general name of tea a tea is mostly one species, Camellia sinensis, but it's also different other species are cultivated to make a tea drink. So there's three different fields how camellias are used. And back to roses. So what is the easiest way to distinguish camellia from rose? It's the flowers. So flowers of camellia and uh, frequently fall as down as a whole structure. And if you look on petals, they are connected with each other. So petals are united in a common general structure. And this called in botany that called sympetalous flowers, flowers with fused petals. In a rose, petals are not fused. So rose flower will drop petals always one by one. In camellia, you can always find some whole flowers under the tree. That's a character which is very hard to miss so this is a camellia not a rose but well name is chinese rose and i will show some roses later thank you hi and this is another species of camellia the camellia in the first part was camellia japonica and this is a camellia sasanqua native to japan and so typically people say that a Chinese camellias are double flowers, whereas in Japan people frequently prefer simple flower, flowered camellia. This is partly correct. Plus also it's frequently said that camellia have no odor. However, camellia sasanko have a very weak but typically pleasant odor, uh, odor and you can feel it. 
especially in a sunny day like today in December 20th. Thank you. And these are roses in the same Kyoto Botanical Garden December 20th, so it's not a big surprise. Roses are frequently flowering in winter time. So what's the difference from camellia or Chinese rose? Again, if you look under the plant, you never, almost never, see any flower as a whole. It will be all these separate petals. However, of course, from outside you, flowers are very different. Second thing, of course, camellias have no spines, roses have, but not all of them. And camellias, except some other species, are no non odorate Whereas roses, of course, are odorate again, with some small exceptions. So, this is a typical rose in the Kyoto Botanical Garden. Thank you.